South Korea saw an on-year rise in the number of newborns in July after a drop in the previous month. Our Shin Ha-young explains. The number of births in South Korea in July rebounded from the previous month. Data from Statistics Korea on Wednesday shows that there were 20,601 births, a 7.9 percent increase compared to the same month last year. In May, the birth rate increased, but it dropped again in June. An official from the agency mainly attributed the rise in July to a base effect from low birth rates the previous year. There was a 6.8 percent on-year decrease in July last year, so this year's increase appears to be larger, suggesting that the growth is partly due to a base effect. The number of births increased in May, dipped slightly in June, but saw a significant rise in July. This is due to a surge in marriages after COVID-19 from August 2022 to March 2023, with the effects leading to more births about two years later. Meanwhile, the number of marriages increased 32.9 percent on-year to over 18,000, while the number of divorces rose 5.9 percent on-year to nearly 8,000. The official added that the sharp rise in the number of marriages is a positive sign as it could lead to more births in the future. The number of deaths also rose 0.4 percent on-year, but the increase slowed from the previous month due to a base effect from a high number of deaths from the previous year. This brings the natural decline in population to more than 7,600. The official also said that despite the aging population, the mortality rate in July for people aged 65 or above has slightly decreased. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News.